Welcome to IBM Support TV, where we answer questions and share technical support information, hints and tips on IBM products. Starting in BPM A56 CF2, a new APAR JR53209 was created that requires an authorization service um, whenever you're trying to collect, connect BPM to your external ECM repository. So, so a little bit of background, this fix was created because um, pre prior to this fix, anyone that was mapped to the um, e embedded ECM technical user role, they were allowed to upload and um, download documents from the ECM. So this fix allows, allows the process app developer to basically restrict who can upload and download documents from the external ECM. Now before I go into a demo to show you how um, what the authorization service looks like and everything, um, I want to go over this tech note. Um, basically, if you upgrade to A56CF2, um, but you do not want to create an authorization service, you can go ahead and go to your 100custom.xml file, and you can set this value to false. So here I have my process application set up. Um, right now, it, I have it configured to connect to my external file net ECM. Um, this connection is successful. So, and if you, if you notice, I have this. There's no authorization service set up yet. So let me go go show you a demo. Basically, let me show you what it looks like when you don't have it set up. So if you don't have it set up, let me go to my test ECM. Go ahead and set my task. So I don't have any documents up right now, but if you try to even view a document, you're going to end up with this error. It's pretty self-explanatory. There's no authorization service defined for FileNet. Okay. So going back to the BPD. Now, going back to the BPD, uh, Process App Settings, we can select the authorization service, and then we can go into it. Basically, it, it's, it's, simple, it's a very simple author, authorization service. You just have to make sure that this local variable, TW local to authorize, is equal to true. Well, let's just do a test first. Let's, let's see what happens if you have set it to false. So this scenario one is not authorized. So let's see if we try to view a document. Action get document operation is not authorized. Okay. Let's go back to server and set this to true. Let's run it again. And this time we should be authorized. To view the document. For a more detailed explanation on how to implement an authorization service, you can go to this uh, DW Answers post that I created, and you can go over the post, and there is a link at the bottom, basically showing you how to define authorization service with uh, sample code and everything. 
Thanks for watching this episode of IBM Support TV. Please leave a comment with topics you would like to see in future episodes. Until then, stay tuned.